so far, sir, have I misquoting the Bible? No, you are very knowledgeable. One of the few that I come across is knowledgeable. Because, because Islam teach me, sir, when I talk about Islam, I have to base on fact. Truth is absolute. Yes, not, agree. Not, not, not objective is absolute. Whether you like it or not, that is the truth. Exactly. What I mean is, this is something that, like, because God is spirit, but those who experience it must be in spirit and truthfulness. Yeah, John 24. Not, uh, not based on everybody who say, what? we will experience him, uh, then it will be different. My, my interpretation is, God is only one. Agree. In how you, how you, Interpreting is up to you lah. But when you are touched with the spirit, lah, you say, oh, this is it. You cannot deny. Because he's the one who created the world. Agreed. He's the creator, we are the creation. Okay. How can we have the have the capacity to understand the creator? Let's say for example you have you you have come across a certain thing, you know that you cannot overcome it. Yeah. But somehow or other, eh? to overcome it. Yep. You know that it is not you who overcome it because it is some power within you that enables you to overcome it. I am able to do all this in him who empowers you. Yep. It's not we who are able to do it, it's him. Exactly, just like what Jesus said, he yeah. cast out devil with the spirit of God, not with himself. And in John 5, 30, Jesus said, I by myself can do nothing. So he do everything with the permissions of God, with the will of God, with the power that God has granted him. Just now you mentioned that God is a spirit, it's true. But that is in John 24, where Jesus said, okay, for God is spirit. So worship it in spirit and in truth. Meaning worship God in spirit, not in a, in a human form or whatever form. So that is what we understand as a human, as a Muslim, that, you know, we believe that, okay, God exists, God, truth is absolute, but we believe that God is beyond the realm, okay, of metaphysics like us, you know, who take forms. Because, I do agree with you. Yeah, so, so that's why, it's sir. beyond our capacity to understand, right? But, but God, we also know, God is not a creator of confusion. Meaning, that God will tell us what is necessary for us to know Him. Like for example, like for example, sir. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. If I misquote, please correct me. Like for example, in John 17, 3, Jesus what say that this life is eternal. So, they may know the one true God, the Father. He's telling the disciple that this life is eternal, so they may know the one true God, which is the Father. So he's telling the, the disciple that, okay, this is the one true God. So to introduce God, so like for example, like in the Quran, how God introduced himself. So he told us that, okay, Kul huwa Allah huwa said God is one and only, Allah who so much, that he is eternal, everything depends on him, he do not depends on anything. Lam gilid wa lam yulad, he beget yeah, no he begotten. He is, he is a and yakul lahu kufwa nahad, meaning there is nothing like unto him. Nothing like unto him is that there is no mental picture, no mental image in our mind that, okay, when we talk about God, like for example, sir, I mentioned someone's name, like for example, XYZ. Do you know who is XYZ? Most probably we will say, I have no mental image who is XYZ because I never met him, I never seen him, so I don't know who is XYZ. We can only visualize a person or a things or a creation that we have seen or a combination. Even the movie of Avatar, <laughs> I know they said, wow. Awata looks cool, so cool. Correct, we agree. But it's still a combination of humans, animals, and something, uh, certain subject, and then they mix it up and to become an Awata. Right? It's still something that we have imagined before. So that's why, I mean, for us, a lot of people, they are not searching for the truth. They are not willing to discover for the truth. For them, is that, okay, I was born as this, I have to die as this. But how, I mean, and the cost and the price have to be that we have to pay if we insist on the kind of mindset, is costly. Reason being, we are like gambling our hereafter. That's why we want to have discussion with people to talk about it. Ultimately, no sourcing, we just have to share with people. I believe, sir, that you are Christian, you believe Christian is the truth, we believe Islam is the truth, but we want to share. No fighting because people always say that in Malaysia, we are not allowed to talk. No, we are here to talk about religion. Are we debating? No. We want to encourage this kind of culture, sir, so we can have a healthy exchange without misquoting anybody. So far, sir, have I misquoting the Bible? No, you are very knowledgeable. One of the few that I come across is knowledgeable. Because, because Islam teach me, sir, when I talk about Islam, I have to base on fact. Because for me, sir, learning is a lifelong process. Yeah, right. So those, those are something that in Islam also encourages us to continue to learn, to learn, to learn, to enhance ourselves. And not only keep that knowledge to ourselves, we have to come up and share with people 
Hopefully, people will be enlightened and may God guide them, but that is the best that we can do. But we still can be friends, although we are coming from different faiths.